Really, how do you feel? Like, really, really good. <laughs> That's a bit close. That better not touch our rudder. We're back on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't our new boat. As you can see, it's the Vagabond the second and... We're getting ready to do a six or even eight month tour of the place that is closest to my heart, the Bahamas. It's a pretty overcast, windy day, uh, but as we get further south, that will turn into beautiful Bahamian blues, tropical oh, we're waters. we're so excited. Yeah. Anyway. That was such a mission, getting back to the boat, oh carding the whole God. family. Actually, while we're on this subject, I just wanted to chime in here. There's something to be said about travelling. What you see on social media, probably on average, isn't a very good representation of what it's really like. Look at me, I'm having so much fun. Hang on, let me just add an inspirational song here and... Yep, it doesn't get better than this. At times, we're certainly guilty of it. For us, it's probably just because it's easy to pick up the camera when things are going well. But for the past few years, we've been trying really hard to also film when things are going terribly. Seven years ago, we started living and eventually working from our sailboat and traveling to and from Australia every other year to visit our friends and family. Life has been a mess, and that was before we decided to have kids. Between dealing with the language barriers, fixing miscellaneous boat parts, ordering crucial bits of equipment in the mail, only to have it divert course and you never receive it, or you end up paying twice as much as the item was worth in import duties. The scary hospital visits, updating satellite phones, having your bank cards blocked and spending hours on the phone at 1am with customer service because of the time difference. Feeling isolated a lot of the time. Having to walk for five kilometres just to pick up a few small items from the grocery store in the blaring heat. Our flight over to the USA from Australia was far from smooth. I got ants in my pants. For real, ants in my pants. That's like a fire ant. Between the two children who sleep on different schedules and the jet lag we've been experiencing and probably will for at least another two weeks, it's been really tough. So why do we do it? Why do we keep doing what we're doing if it can be so difficult? I guess maybe because we're free. We're able to take our work with us and we've decided that we want to work really hard. Often for Riley, it's because people tell him it's impossible or he can't. We're free from the nine to five, but then separated from the conveniences of society and often family to lean on, a grandma to look after Lenny. We've swapped convenience for adventure and frankly, mountains of organising and work with the boat, the videos and the kids. Sometimes we question, actually oftentimes we question what we're doing, but it's the freedom that we return to. We love to wake up in a different anchorage and explore a new coastal town. We love to experience different cultures and try and live how the locals live. And the idea of having our boys grow up with the ability to adapt to any environment would be a great gift to give them. We like to try and live off the land for periods of time. It's all just very exciting and land life might not cut it for us anymore. So here we are. If you're new here, click subscribe and follow our story. I'm actually looking forward to unpacking the boxes and moving back in. I am not looking forward to unpacking the boxes. I'm looking forward to having the boat set up how we had it and streamlining it even a little bit more. And I'm also, I'm really looking forward to working with a crew and having yeah. a team. This time in the Bahamas, it feels more like a mission. Like there's a bunch of things that we want to do um, and we've got some good people around us. Yeah, so we're permanently Whereas... gonna have David on board and also another crew that's going to be a woman. And it's nice to share the experience with people too. Yeah, so we stopped in at LA and I got to speak to the guys from Morelli and Melvin who actually designed the Rapido. So I got schooled a lot. Um, uh, it was just fantastic to pick the brains of some of the leaders in the industry and some of the smartest naval architects uh, in the world. And we got to see our new boat with VR goggles. Like, it was so cool to see it like that. I keep talking like <laughs> So yeah, we've still got heaps of stuff to get done on the boat. And then uh, it's still hurricane season. So we're dodging, not hurricanes, but little disturbances, tropical disturbances that are still around the area. We're gonna make our way south and go and dive with some sharks mm. again. That's our first stop.
we were pretty lucky that whilst we still didn't even have sheets to sleep on in our boat, the Charleston Harbour and Resort gave us a roof over our heads whilst we sorted out our situation. It was only a short walk to our boat from the resort here and the midday dips in the pool in between boat jobs were going to be a godsend. Yeah. For the first time ever, we've had someone on board looking after it, David, who's a, a friend of mine that I hung out with in the Bahamas for ages. So, not very nervous. I feel like I'm on top of things without even having been here. The chance to spend the next six to nine months back in the Bahamas again is just, like, really, really good. So, yeah, pretty excited. We're going to go see our boat. Camille, any point? Here she is. David, how you going, dude? I'm good. <laughs> Long time no see. Yeah, thanks for looking after the boat for me, man. Of course. What do you think, mate? <laughs> I wonder if he remembers. This is our boat. This is our boat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Guys. We are back. This is so exciting. She looks so beautiful and clean and ready for us to move back in. How much chaos has happened since Lenny's come back on board? Um, honestly, not, not that much compared to everything I've been through. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the boat ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, that was um, interesting. I was expecting that so many things had to be done. Major things, rigging, engines. Yeah, all the rigging, the maintenance on the engines, and all the paint, you know, the jet coat. Yeah. And uh, the waxing. We're uh, getting a ship shape and tickety boo for the new owners. <laughs> yeah. Hey? He's uh, brand new. Looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. How long till we can leave? Ah, uh, yeah. So the weather, it, it would be really nice to leave today, but then the weather isn't good again until seven, seven days' time. We've just spent seven days travelling from Perth to Sydney to LA to here. So we're still jet we've got we've got a lot of stuff. Hey, are you at Lenny? No touching the winch. So David was saying that he pulled out these cushions and our beanbag here from. Um, you are crazy. There is a whole other level of crazy going on. Compared to four or five months ago when we were here last. He's a menace now. Um, David said that he pulled out these from the sail locker and it was mouldy and black and he had to scrub them. What's happening here? There's a bit of a mess in here <laughs> and it's called... Lenny's been like dragging that Darwin around and... Getting a bit too excited. You want to that's try? enough now, Bubba. Oh. Baby, don't touch me. No, Lenny, that's enough. You're a crazy man, aren't you? No, I'm a dad. Yes, dada. you are crazy. I'm a dad. You want dada? Yeah. Okay, how you going, mate? Do you want to do you want to tell everyone that you're a completely different person, mm -hmm. and we need to make sure that you don't hurt yourself when you're on the boat now? Because you've been climbing on the roof, you've been bouncing on the front. You've been going way too close to the edge, haven't you? No. <laughs> well, you have. We just can't be more than arm's length away from him because he's just mama, a, a nutter. I want Mama. Well, Mama's downstairs. Lenny's going to fall off. Lenny's going to fall off? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So who are you? Um, I'm David. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up meeting Riley in the Bahamas like three years ago and uh, we, we ended up selling 
for like a month or a month. Maybe a bit more, yeah. Yeah. You were single-handed on your boat and I was yeah. cruising around on mine. Elena was pregnant with Lenny. Yeah, exactly. So um, we both were alone on our boat, sitting around and both really like spirit fishing and freediving. So we ended up being really good friends. <laughs> Two, three months ago, I sold my boat and then right after um, you, right, you just text me, hey, do you want to come over and take care of my boat because I need help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in. So I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Who are you? What have you been doing? How did we find you? Um, so I started- Don't be normal, be your funny, weird self. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's two on the spot. I started sailing like a year and a half ago. I did a ton of deliveries. David came into town and said that there was another girl that wasn't gonna make it, so I messaged Elena. She didn't read it, so I deleted my message and resent it. <laughs> <laughs> then I made up an email address that I thought would be the email address, and somehow y'all got it. And <laughs> Really? Yeah, I didn't actually see her ad. And then I just well said, done. hey, I've been sailing, I've got 11,000 miles in the last year. I love kids. I'm not professional with kids, but I like them. <laughs> and uh, I'm not a chef, but I can manage to cook something tasty. And you don't get seasick and you're a legend. Do you like the sunset, Lenny? Yeah, I like the sunset. I like the boat. It's so fast, Dada. It's gone really fast, isn't it? Yes, thank you, the fast. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, I am ready now. Oh! 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 Woke up on the boat for the first time in five months since we'd left her. I'd forgotten how nice the sea breeze smelt and how much time we actually spend outside when we're back on board. Today, we slept in and decided we'd have a fun day in town before the serious boat work would commence. Look, Lenny. Oh, you look so handsome. Look, they're coming this way. Maybe they're going to come say hello to you. Do you see dolphins, Lenny? Wow. Can I have my hand? Okay. What are you doing? Lenny's helping us um, do some steering system maintenance. And what is that exactly? Oh, we just. Just general maintenance. Mm. Are you concerned about all that, Lenny? Really worried, huh? Should we turn the turnbuckle and take the wire out and pull it all free so that we can fully disassemble it? Yeah. You think we should? Yeah. All right. That's a lot of work, though, boss. <laughs> Got ourselves an adjustable jolly. Coming in. OK. But our main thing is stopping Lenny from oh, like tipping him Pushing upside him around. Down. Hang on, Lenny. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 
gentle. A lot of you guys ask where we get our laundry done and it's in different places all the time and my worst nightmare has come true. Apparently you needed to have told this laundry Hello, mat Elena, to separate whites. You have to tell a laundry mat that. All of our white stuff has come back pink and I am They're truly like, you're devastated. a sailing channel. Why are you talking about, si about laundry so much? left me and gone, okay, so I'm just heading out. Uh, he's gonna be really hungry in about an hour, so can you just feed him a bottle? And I was like, has he ever had a bottle before? She's like, nah. Do you like that or not, mate? So this lovely gentleman has decided to help me out here. The laundry no longer takes coins, not that I had any to begin with, but you have to download an app to pay online, which would be handy if my Wi-Fi worked. So, anyway. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Where'd y'all um, tell them from? Um... Whoa. Never, never have we got so much stuff done so quickly. Yeah. That was intense. We're nearly ready to leave. Sleepless nights, sweaty, sweaty marina. Sweaty marina. <laughs> That's what I thought. Has been pretty sweaty. No, the marina was great. It's just <laughs> we've been sweaty. All right, come on, sit down. <laughs> We just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and um, whoa, and hanging out for our journey back to Australia while we had a baby and all that. And it's just really good to be back on the boat and to have you guys here with us. We're starting to get a bit emotional about our channel yeah, um, and everything that's been going on. Yeah. If you're new here, subscribe and like the video. It's always important for me to say. Yeah, and, um, and join us next week as we continue getting the boat ready to leave um, and actually set sail. And it's so good yeah, to be the at the helm sail. again. And, yeah. Um, yeah. See you guys soon. And the coastal shore.